How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. How to transfer any file, photo, video or document between an iPhone and an Android completely wireless, just like AirDrop. And it gets better than that because this works on every single platform, not only iOS and Android, but also Windows, Mac and even Linux and you can transfer any file that you want between any of those devices completely free and instant. As you just saw, I've just transferred this one minute long video, it took like two, three seconds and it's right here on my Android so 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 convenient this is airdrop made even better let me show you how you can use it on any of your devices right now let's get started okay guys so in order to use the feature we will need to get an app but as i mentioned it's completely free and we will need to download the app on all of the devices that you want to transfer the file so if you want to do it from an iphone to an android you're going to need to get the app on both the iphone and the android same goes for the other platforms that i'm going to show you in a second okay so let's open up the app store here on the iphone go to search go to search here once again and the name of the app is loco send all one word okay so loco send of course i'll have all of the information on the screen and also link in the description okay so you can tap on the link and then you're gonna go ahead and open up this page here so there are no mistakes you can go ahead here and download loco send completely free then just open it up and then as you can see it's gonna ask to use your local networks naturally we're gonna need to enable that because it's gonna use the local network to transfer the files so allow as you can see right here and then we're good to go that's the setup so let's leave the iphone here and do the exact same thing for the other device in this case the android so let's open up the play store go to search here and then search and then search for local send once again as you can see there we go of course i'll have a direct link in the description as well for android and for all of the other platforms you can go ahead here tap on install as you can see it's gonna go ahead and download is a very very small app as you can see so it's super fast as you can see installing open it up and then there we go so now we have here both devices as you can see and then all you have to do is choose which device you want to send and which device you want to receive the file. So let's go for the same example. I want to send from the iPhone and receive on the Android. So it's already on receive, as you can see right here. So I don't have to do anything here, but here I have to go for send, as you can see. And it's already going to look for nearby devices. And since we are on the same network and naturally you will use your local Wi-Fi network. So your devices need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. As you can see, it's gonna find it automatically, instantly. As you can see, Fast Lattice, Fast Lattice. It's gonna create those random funny names every single time, okay? So as you can see, we already have the device, so we can leave uh, my Android phone here, and then I can go ahead and choose what file I wanna transfer. I can choose a media file, so as I tap here, and then it's gonna ask to access my library, my photo library, you need to allow full access. And as you can see, you've got here your library, so you can choose any file just like I showed you in the intro. Let me close that. Uh, you can transfer a text. So let's say you wanna transfer, for example, an article, something you've written, something that's pretty long, and you just wanna go ahead, for example, and copy from the iPhone, paste right here, and then transfer all of that text to your other device. This may be very helpful, or maybe a password or something like that. Okay, you can do that. You can transfer a file, of course, so it's gonna open up your file manager. In this case, on the iPhone, it's the Files app. And of course, here, a full folder if you wanna transfer more like uh, documents or files, yeah, a full folder can be transferred as well. And that is your typical process, just like I showed you. So media, for example. So let me choose, for example, this photo right here this time. It's just a picture, and then let's confirm. And then let's go ahead here, tap on the device tap on the device right here. It's gonna ask on the other device, saying that uh, my iPhone wanna transfer a file to this phone right here. You can go ahead and accept, as you can see, and then it's gonna transfer instantly, as you just saw, and then you're good to go. You can open up your gallery, and then it's gonna be right here. That's the photo. Uh, previously we transferred the video right now this photo and it's right here of course if you want to transfer a file or something like that it's going to go to the corresponding app 
on the receiving device. And then that's literally it, guys. If you wanna do the, the process the other way around, you do the exact same thing. So go ahead here, get local send. Let's come back. Let's come back once again. This time, if you wanna go, for example, send from an Android to an iPhone, let's open both devices right here. And as you can see, it works the exact same way. So this time I'm using my Android as the device I wanna send and I'm using my iPhone as the device I wanna receive. So as you can see, I'm seeing here Neat Grape, which is Neat Grape right here, and I can do the exact same thing, choosing the file that I wanna send. It works just like that, as you just saw, amazing. And now let me quickly show you that it also works on a Windows and on a Mac. Now, if you wanna use Local Send on your PC or your Mac, you're gonna do the exact same thing. First, download and install the software, Let's start here with the PC. So go ahead and open up your favorite browser and go to localsend.org slash download. Of course, I'm gonna have the link in the description, direct link, okay? You go ahead here, select Windows, and then you download the .exe file. Your, so your typical software format, okay? So click here on .exe, it's gonna start downloading automatically and instantly, as you can see, and then you just go ahead, open it up, and install it. It just takes like a couple seconds. It's super, super fast. After that, you can go ahead and open up Local Send, as you can see right here, and then, there we go, Local Send, receive send just like we saw before now let's do the exact same thing now for the mac but for the mac we're going to actually use the mac app store instead of the website so open up the app store then go ahead here on search and then you already know let's go for local send and then let's go ahead and hit return and right here local send you can go ahead and download it and install it just like any app as soon as you're done you can open it up and right here, we're good to go. So let me show you that it works the exact same way as you saw on the mobile devices. So let's say I wanna send from my Mac to my Windows. As you can see, as I click on send, it already finds as a nearby device, this other device right here, which is the exact same name. As you can see, it has a computer icon, Windows, so you know exactly what device it is. And then you choose here your file or folder or text or anything, just like you saw before. And then you select the other device, it's gonna transfer, and then you're good to go, just like that. And so that's how you use AirDrop on any device that you want a Windows, a Mac, an Android phone, and even of course, an iPhone. So that's how you do it. This is it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one as usual guys. Bye bye.